Hey what's up guys I am at here and today we have the ZW15 smartwatch it is sent by the ABMTR flagship store on AliExpress and this smartwatch comes in a unique design I haven't tried a smartwatch with this shape yet so in this video we're going to be talking about all of its features and other than the unique shape does this smartwatch has something special to offer or not but before we start a subscribe to the channel will be highly appreciated so let's see what comes inside the box first of all we have another box I'm going to open it and inside it. first of all we have the smartwatch the zw15 smartwatch then we have the wireless charger and in the end we have the user manual to get you started so let's take off the plastic protector on it and here is the first look on the smartwatch so first of all let's press and hold the button to turn it on and we get the powered by wear fit in the beginning then here is the first look on the screen if you look at the smartwatch it has a square design we have this glass top which is looking really good the display colors are also really good then we have a matte frame and we have flat sides we have the crown key here which can be used to access the menu and to go back you can also scroll it to change the watch faces you can also use it for scrolling purposes then we have the side key which can be used to turn off the display and to turn it back on the crown key is not insensible and you will hear a clicky sound whenever you use it it is also quite strong and won't be scrolled accidentally then we have the microphone hole here and on the left side we have the speaker hole on the back side we have the wireless charging and health sensor and here it is using 22 mm straps and here is how the smartwatch looks on the wrist so what do you think about this design let me know about it in the comment section below after that if you look at the screen then here is a look at the screen size it is not using AMOLED display it is an IPS LCD so let me show you all of the watch faces inside the smartwatch so these were all of the watch faces inside it you cannot lock the watch face but the crown key is quite strong and it won't be scrolled accidentally so you don't have to worry about accidentally changing the watch face and it has ticking seconds hand and the smartwatch supports both 24 hour and 12 hour clock format you can do it from the wayfit pro application i will show it to you later in the video then on the home screen we have the control center the quick access menu quick access applications and the notifications and if you look at the menu styles here is the first one the icons are quite similar to watch os it has the scroll down gesture as well as the scroll up gesture you can double click the crown key to change the menu style here is the second menu style then here is the third menu style a list view the touch of the smartwood is not so satisfactory and it also doesn't have an animation for opening and quitting an application the maximum brightness level is really good if you talk about the normal screen time then it can be a maximum of 15 seconds and after 15 seconds of inactivity the display will turn off but from the control center you can enable the always on mode which can keep the display turned on for a maximum of 30 minutes then the smartwatch also comes with a screen off dial which turns on after the normal screen time ends but one bad thing about it is that it can only stay on for about 10 seconds it does not have tap to wake option or the palm gesture but it does have raise hand to brighten up the screen option it also has a app history you can double click the crown key to access the app history by which you can access the recently opened applications directly from here looking closely at the text the screen resolution is also not so high let me show you all of the languages supported by it You can also add a passcode in the smartwatch. You can also customize the sound and vibration level on the smartwatch and the vibration intensity is good. And you cannot use custom ringtones on the smartwatch. It uses the Wayfit Pro application which contains ads and sometimes even full screen ads which can be really annoying. And here the ZW15 model shows an ultra smartwatch. First of all here we have the watch faces and it has both paid and free watch faces and it is quite disappointing to say that most of the good watch faces in the dial market are paid. So you will either have to activate the membership to get access to all of the dials or you will have to purchase each of the dial you like for 99 cents. If you look at the plans we have $3.99 per month to $42.99 per year. If you want to use a custom watch face from the gallery we have the customize section here where you can use your own picture. So let's choose one. After selecting the picture tap on done. Then you can choose from a variety of digital clock styles available here. Remember that you cannot use a pointer dial on the custom watch face and you also cannot fill 
really move the content on the watch face we only have these three position options then we have notifications and here we have the others option which means it can send you the notifications for almost all of the applications on your smartphone even if that application isn't listed here so it does not wake up the display when you receive a new notification and it only vibrates and when you turn on the screen it shows a full screen prompt and it is not showing the message content here so let's go to notification center and for a longer notification it is not showing the content here it is showing the content for the notifications which have low amount of content in it and what else can you expect from this chinese guy it does not support emojis then we have wallet where you can save different qr codes and here we have the my qr card option we have reminders and you can also push weather updates to the smartwatch which only shows the weather right now you can also change the temperature unit from here and here is the value compared to the apple server then here we have nfc customization options and yes this smartwatch also supports nfc as far as i have checked you cannot add alarms directly in the smartwatch you can only add them using the watch application so let's set an alarm so i'm I'm gonna wait for it to ring and here is how the alarm is shown it does vibrate and ring but it doesn't have the snooze option and the alarm rings for about 10 to 12 seconds but the vibration intensity is quite strong and the volume level is also good then we have the find bracelet option using which the bracelet will start to vibrate and ring so you can easily find it you can also sync your favorite contacts in the smartwatch in other settings we have the early point measurement race to wake and 12 hour clock format option you can turn it off to enable 24 hour clock format Format. in the end we have schedule management and the smartwatch also supports firmware updates to connect with bluetooth calling access the control center and enable this icon then connect with zw15 call and once connected you can call directly from here and you can also receive calls directly on it it does ring on the incoming call and it shows the name as well as the number of the caller and when you accept the call it does not have the mute option or the volume control option and you also cannot transfer the call to the smartphone from here and it also has the voice assistant option hey siri how's the weather today expect cloudy skies today daytime temperatures will hover around 36 degrees and the volume level is really loud and clear so now i have disabled bluetooth calling now let's see if we can control the media playing on our device using it so let's tap here no we cannot so i really do not like this feature that you need to connect with bluetooth calling to control the media playing on your device since because of this option whenever you will tap on play or next or pause it will transfer the sound from the smartphone to the smartwatch if you look at the rest of the features we have the heart rate blood oxygen level and blood pressure checker and if we use any of of them on the table it does measure the data and is giving insane values of 160 beats per minute so since it doesn't have a detection i really won't trust the values given by it then we have a lot of sport modes here you can tap on the three dots to set the calorie target distance target or time data stores all of your fitness data and we have the sleep tracker here we have stopwatch and timer to help you out in your workouts here we have MET data, here is pressure calculator and we have messages to show you the notifications and as far as I have checked this smartwatch does not come with a calculator so this is really disappointing to see that this smartwatch is missing such a basic feature so these are pretty much all of the applications in the smartwatch in the end if we talk about the battery it is advertised to come with a 250 mAh of battery inside it I've been recording this video for about 30 to 40 minutes in which it has lost almost 10 to 12% of the battery which is really not good to see and remember that this drainage is on continuous usage and the smartwatch will have a different battery life when you are using it normally according to the advertised value it can give you three days on heavy usage seven days on normal usage and 14 days on standby and the smartwatch also has the bedside clock mode which turns on this display when you put the smartwatch on the charger but it is not always on and turns off after a few seconds so guys this is all from today's video and from this zw15 smartwatch so i have mixed opinion on the smartwatch this smartwatch misses some basic features like alarm that you cannot set alarm directly in the smartwatch you'll have to use the watch application for that and it also doesn't have the calculator option the touch is also not so satisfactory so there was nothing special in this smartwatch which would have impressed me but it surely comes with a unique shape what are your opinion on this shape let me know about it in the comment section below and if you want to purchase it i would really appreciate if you can use the link given in the description box below if you're interested in more smartwatch reviews then make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay updated on the upcoming videos i'll catch you in the next one until next time this is imat peace